It's been tested and retested, and now it's nearly ready to go on its maiden voyage to resupply the International Space Station. With its launch, Europe launches its bid to be a serious player in the business of space. July 2007, after being built in Europe, the ATV, or Automated Transfer Vehicle, was dismantled, packed up and sent off to this tropical paradise. Here in Kourou, in French Guiana, the engineers behind it got to work piecing back together this 19-ton, 10-metre-tall symbol of Europe's technological capability. The tech is beyond what anyone else has managed with an unmanned ship. That includes the traditional space powers, America and Russia. Launched by rocket, the Jules Verne uses a mixture of GPS and lasers to navigate its own way to the space station and dock with it. When ATV gets put into orbit by Ariane, it, uh, it's in a circular orbit, but it has to find its way to the space station. And to do that is, uh, is a very complicated affair, and uh, that's the, uh, the new technology that uh, has really been uh, developed in Europe on this program. And doing that's cost nearly two billion dollars, an expensive proposition. But the hope is that this vehicle will fill the gap in the market left by the retiring space shuttles. It's the size of a double-decker bus and will deliver much needed food, air, fuel and equipment to the space station's astronauts. ATV is one of the major components that Europe is participating in the International Space Station. We're taking up this space tug which takes up cargo to the space station and we're doing this to offset the operations costs. So we're a major player in the International Space Station and Europe needs to pay for the operations and we do that by taking up cargo. So for Europe's politicians, it means they'll finally be fulfilling their obligations for membership in this exclusive orbiting club. And for the engineers behind the ATV, a successful mission will prove that Europe is ready for the next challenge, building spaceworthy vehicles that can carry humans. Six, five. That will challenge American and Russian dominance and European dependence in the skies above. And it may mean that in future, European astronauts won't just be hitching rides into space. Jonathan Amos, BBC News.